Breed from the shackles of time and space, we present Wind At. Headlines are like shoe prints. Everybody makes them, and they always fade. You don't have to find a missing shoe to remember that you lost it. After something is gone, it becomes something else. It becomes a memory. We remember, don't we? We remember the roads that we traveled, and we know when it got muddy and when we tripped up. I rarely trip because I tie my laces in a double knot special. A knot I learned at Louis G's during my surge days. I named that knot after a machine. A magical machine designed to, well, change something about the something. It was a long time ago. That machine was called, damn it, I can hardly remember. Let's go back years ago to when I was still working with my old partner. When I was just a freelance shoe dick. A private dick. I had just accepted the rescinded invitation of Detective McGruff to work on the Copplinburg case. The actual mystery I was trying to solve was Dartone III's missing shoe. His shoe went missing after we were banished in New Orleans by the Queen of Everything for our part in Rakuanon. Somewhere in the city of Enigmas, under the blanket of this hellscape, I would find Dartone's shoe. We first investigated the apartment of missing mad scientist Mandolin Rivage. Well, wait a minute. All the left shoes are missing. Dartone, didn't you lose your right shoe? Do any of these shoes fit your goddamn feet? Do, does, do any of these look like your shoes? No, well, no. This does not fit my foot. It does fit my hand, though. My hand does fit into that if that helps. You goddamn it, Dartone. Look at it. Is that Mandolin Ravage? My device will be the key to saving this planet and steering it towards becoming a veritable utopia. I have dubbed the device Utopia. Working title. The shoe was on the wrong foot, as it often was back then. And we did what any wise private eye would. We went to the movies. I remember a fictional documentary, but no clues. Especially that um, utopia. utopia. Working time. Until the outside world is revitalized, I cannot step foot into it. trivial pursuits. I have too important of a job to do. I have been fortunate to find a willing soul to procure my elements. So you're buying, Louis? What'll it be, boys? The bartender looks just like... Shut up, Tartone. I'm trying to order. I'll have a search. I was still hitting the surge hard back then, so my memory is fuzzy. But as I recall it, I had a stunning revelation. The answer to our mystery had been right in front of me this whole time. The goblin bird must have taken Dartone the third shoe. I would follow the only trail of single left-footed claw prints from the bar back to a secret warehouse where the beast was hiding. That's, that's how I remember it. Well, I guess that explains why we shit ourselves. Speak for yourself, Dartone. Enough tricks, bird. Where's Mandolin Ravage? Where's the missing scientist? Did you eat them? Tell us. And about my right shoe. I have your missing shoe, Dartone. And I know who took it. Oh, can I have it back? No. Uh -huh. First, you kidnap a scientist. But now, you bring a shoe into it? Do you know who the hell I am? I am the protector of the lost shoes, bird. The protector. I'm the dark British knight of Noirland. I find the predators in this world and make them vegan. There ain't an LA gear in this town that's evaded my dick eyes. And there never will be. I'm on to you, bird. You can fly as far as you want, but you have no shoes that will fit your freaky ass feet. Wait, that's it. Freaky feet. Oh, thank God. 
Save us, Steve. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize they weren't going to be wearing shoes. Oh my god. It's disgusting. What do we do? What do we do? The space raccoons weren't wearing shoes. Could I have just uncovered the clue that brings me back to my barefoot nemesis? I'm trying to remember what happened next. I don't believe it. You actually did it, Steve. I, I should never have doubted you. You, well, you saved us. Um, uh, um, yeah, uh, of course. What else is the shoe detective for? I mean, uh, yeah, 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 I did save us. Oh, I saved the day, but I didn't find the missing shoe. And I still can't recall the name of the magical machine. The name of my double knot special. The knot I tied daily onto my pair of New Balance foam padded 97 Remake Edition Series 22s. The same shoes that I've never taken off since the night of my father's murder. The running shoes that would expose me to the man I would be destined to chase. <laughs> <laughs> 